Hi there friends! So, I have been doing a lot of work today and I thought, you know what, no, I need to film a video because it's my day to upload. And I watched Kate Hartsett do a questions nobody asked tag video and I really liked it. I'll put it, the link in the description box down below. Um, and so I decided to do one of my own. Now it has a lot of questions so I decided to split them into two parts so there'll be two different videos. So I'll do the first half in this video and the next weekend you'll get the second half of the questions in a video. So. Let's get started. So I have all the questions on my phone here, so I can read them off. The first question is, do you go by a nickname? Actually, I actually have quite a lot of nicknames. So my name's Nicole, but most of my family calls me Coley. Um, sometimes my mom will call me Cole. Uh, several people call me Coco. My roommate Lauren calls me that. My sister calls me that sometimes. My dad and my uncle both call me Coco Bean. So basically I go by every derivative of the name Nicole except for Nikki. Number two, when driving, do you listen to CDs, tapes, the radio, or nothing? I don't drive yet. Um, or whenever I do drive, I typically just listen to the radio because I'm still learning to drive and I don't want to get like distracted by hearing my favorite music. But whenever I'm in the car with my mom or one of my best friends, typically uh, we plug in one of our phones. I lately, whenever I'm in the car with someone, have been listening pretty much just to Hamilton um, because that's all I listen to for the most part. But um, for like long road trips, we'll bring CDs. Um, typically, my sister and I bring like Bonnie and Clyde, Newsies, um, things like that to listen to in the car. Are you a... Ooh, one of my roommates has friends over for studying, if you can hear them. Number three, are you a window person or an aisle person? That really depends. Like on buses or trains, I always want to be a window person, but on the airplane, I get quite claustrophobic if I sit in the window seat, so I have to have an aisle seat or I will get very nauseous, so that's kind of a pain to deal with. Number four, how do you relieve stress? I don't. Um, no, I'm a very stressed out person most of the time. So a lot of times whenever I'm trying to de-stress, I'll just make a tea and watch a couple of YouTube videos. Um, or I'll do my work at like one of my favorite cafes or coffee shops because that helps me be less stressed about it. Um, or I'll take a break and I'll work on the blog or my YouTube channel. Um, my link to my blog is going to be in the description box below. Um, or I'll just kind of like go through some social media, see what Jeremy Jordan's been tweeting kind of thing. Um, and that really helps me just calm down a bit and see the bigger picture, I guess. Number five, what's your favorite childhood TV show? Oh god, what did I watch? I watched a lot of Blue's Clues. Um, I watched, there was a show, I think on PBS called Out of the Box. There's another show on CB PBS called um, Sagwa, the Siamese Chinese cat, which was about this family of cats that like lived with, I want to say the Emperor of China and they like did calligraphy with their tails. I don't know, it sounds very weird to describe it, but I loved that show. Um, that and Sabumafu. I miss Sabumafu. Number six, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grow up? Um, whenever I was quite small, I wanted to own a ballet school and be a ballet teacher. Um, then from about the time I was like seven, I thought I'd be a lawyer. I went through a period in late elementary school where I wanted to be an archeologist and then I realized how dirty that job is, like how much dirt is involved and I was like, no, no, not for me. Um, but so for most of the time that I was growing up, I wanted to be a lawyer and then I hit like my junior year of high school. So I was like 17 probably I realized that I hate confrontation and I don't like the law or the government. So that wasn't going to work out. Um, seven, the best prank you ever pulled off. I've never really pulled pranks, like not really. Um, my last year of high school, my senior year, the seniors always do like a senior prank and ours is that we took like all the chairs in all the classrooms and zip tied them together and then we like took all the scissors out of the classroom so that was kind of fun but I'm not really the prank pulling type. Um, eight, if you could have dinner with any three people whom would you choose? <sighs> That's so difficult. Three people. Okay, number one, I think I am gonna say Lin-Manuel Miranda because I just want to talk to him about Alexander Hamilton and about the show and about everything and um, I think that would be really cool. Number two, maybe Bonnie Parker of like Bonnie and Clyde. I know that sounds quite strange, but I did a research paper on Bonnie and Clyde last semester, or not last semester, last fall. And I just would really love to talk to her and see actually what the truth was about all those kind of things. I'm assuming this is a living or dead type thing. Um, cause she's definitely dead. Then number three, honestly, probably Killian Donnelly. Just because I feel like Killian, whenever I met him, very much put me at ease, even though I was quite nervous about, like, meeting him. Um, and I feel like if I was in a room with, like, Lin-Manuel Miranda, 
and Bonnie Parker. I would need someone to like calm me down. Um, and I think Killian could do that. Okay, number nine. If you could get back any article of clothing you once wore, what would it be? Any article of clothing? Okay, this is kind of cheating. I have this pair of Oxford heels and I love them to death and they have died. They are all torn up and the heel is like coming off and I still have them in my closet. I haven't actually been able to get myself to get rid of them yet, but I need to let them go because they're not really wearable anymore. Number 10, if you could hire any actor to portray you in a movie, who would you choose? Well, if I would like if I could pick anyone to portray me, I'd be like, oh, pick Emma Watson or Laura Osnes or someone like that. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe like Samantha Hill. I think we have quite similar coloring, even if we have very different face shapes. Um, I don't know. That's a good one. You tell me who you would pick to portray me in a movie. If you could play any instrument, which would you play? I used to play the piano. I also played flute for quite a few years. I really wish I was better at piano, though. That would be a really nice thing to be able to play. That, or I always wanted to be able to play guitar. Just because guitar is the kind of thing where you can, like, sit down when friends are over and play and people sing. Is that a real thing? Do people actually do that? Well, I would do that if I could. Twelve. If you could hear anyone in history give a speech, whom would you hear? Um, I would love to hear George Washington's farewell address. Um, I've been listening to Hamilton so much, I feel like I should say Alexander Hamilton. Um, speech giving people though. I would really love to have heard Elizabeth I's speech to the soldiers um, about the Spanish Armada. That would be very cool. If you could live in one city for the rest of your life, where would you live? If it didn't have anything to do with like where my family was or where my job was or anything, Brighton, England, absolutely. Probably the city is that I was, I've been happiest in. I absolutely love it. It's close to England, or wow, it is in England. It's close to London. I need more sleep. But it's close to London. You can get anywhere in the world from there. It's got a fantastic train station. I just love the town so much. If you could make any fictional character come to life, which would it be? Charles Bingley from Pride and Prejudice, and I would marry him. That was easy. Um, when you were a kid, what did you dress up as for Halloween? I had a lot of different costumes. I know whenever I was quite little, uh, my parents dressed me up as an angel and they took my wagon and they put like white tulle around it so it looked like a little cloud and they pulled me around in it. Um, I also dressed up as Tigger one year, I know that. So do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? At school, always closed. They're mirrored doors. And I don't know what it is, but I feel quite strange about sleeping with them open. But at home, I always keep my closet door open because it's a walk-in closet. I don't know why that is. It's just a thing that I do. If you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? I'm assuming, does this include like Disney characters or is it like TV cartoons? I'm going to assume that it's Disney characters too. And then definitely I would say Princess Anna or Rapunzel. Do you take shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? Whenever I was a kid, I was obsessed with this. I would take every toiletry that they gave. I thought it was the coolest thing. But now I typically will only take them if I have another trip coming up and I know that I'm gonna need like travel sized um, shampoo and conditioner, or if it's a really cool brand, like the Disney World hotels, like the Contemporary and the Polynesian, I love the products that they use. So I always take them. 19. Have you stolen a street sign before? No. I'm actually super, super against stealing street signs because I think that a lot of times people steal ones like stop signs that can put a lot of people in danger. Um, so I would never do that. 20. Do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? Kind of half and half. I like to keep them tucked at the bottom of the bed, but then I have to untuck them like around the top of the bed, like where I sleep. 21. Would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees. I'm allergic to bees, so I'm gonna have to fight it with the bear. I feel like the bear, like the, I would have a chance if it got to me, but the bees, I would just be dead. Also, I, think, I feel like it's easier to avoid a bear than bees. I'm gonna take my chance with the bear. Okay, so that is where I'm going to stop for this video. And next week you can come back and see the next uh, rest of the questions on the next video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you've not already. Also, I will put the links to my Twitter and my Instagram and my blog and my Tumblr and everything. So if you want to connect on other social media, we can. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye. Um, and I really liked hers. I'll put it in the link below. And the what?